Hi everybody, my name is Leela and I'm a member of Engineering for All, and this is the fourth video of our online workshop series. Today's video is going to be focused on teaching aeronautical engineering. Engineering for All, for all is a nonprofit that's focused on teaching engineering to elementary schoolers in downtown San Jose. And for the past year, we've been offering workshops and clubs to local elementary schoolers to help teach engineering. Since the COVID-19 crisis, we've had to move our operation online, which is why we've been doing these online workshops. Today's workshop is going to teach aeronautical engineering through the concept of propulsion. At the end of the workshop, students will get to create a balloon-powered rocket that will help them understand how to apply the concept of propulsion. Hello and welcome back to another video. This week we're going to talk about aeronautical engineering. Now what is an aer aeronautical engineer? An aeronautical engineer are generally interested in both engineering and avitation. They work on developing and designing machines that can fly. So aeronautical engineering use robotics, computer aid design, also known as CAD, advanced electronics, and lasers to create new travel designs. Aer and aeronautical engineers have the responsibility to create newer, safer, more economical, and energy efficient travel methods. The question that we're going to talk about today is propulsion. Propulsion can be defined as the action of driving or pushing something forward. This is made possible by what is called a propulsion system. A propulsion system consists of a power source and a propulsor, which is a mechanical device that converts the power into a force. In aeronautical engineering, a propulsion system is basically what pushes the vehicle forward, and when designing it, you have to make sure that it contains enough force so that it can overcome the weight of the machine. The propulsion system in a machine may be as simple as a propeller on a helicopter or as complex as a jet engine on a rocket. Propulsion systems are able to work in rockets specifically because their weight is being supported by the sturdiness and stability that a rocket has. The propulsion systems used in rockets are also able to supply the force needed to accelerate the rocket's mass through the atmosphere and into space. Propulsion systems are able to allow the vehicle to control its speed through how much force they release. So generally, the more force being released, the faster the vehicle will run, and vice versa. Hey guys, today we're going to learn how to build a balloon rocket that follows a path that you decide. After you've built the rocket, you can test how different levels of air in the balloon and different paths affect the level of propulsion on the balloon rocket. In order to create this rocket, you'll need a few things. So first, you're going to need like a long piece of string or yarn. You're going to need a balloon, a plastic straw, and some tape. Okay, so the instructions for this craft are pretty simple. So first you're going to want to create a path. So what you want to do is tie one end of a long piece of string around the back of a chair. The next step is to prep the balloon. So what you want to do is inflate the balloon, but don't tie off the end. Instead, tape a straw to the balloon and thread the string through the straw. And the third step is to launch. So you're going to release the balloon and watch it speed down its launch path. So after you've put together the model, you're going to want to test it out by starting with different amounts of air in the balloon or by changing the length or angle of the flight path. By testing the balloon this way, you're observing the effects of different flight paths and the balloon inflations on the overall propulsion of the rocket. In this situation, the model you've created is a propulsion system. The air inside of the balloon is the source of mechanical power, and the balloon itself is the propulsor that pushes the air out in a way that pushes the entire rocket forward. With different levels of mechanical power, the propulsion power will vary, and with different elevation angles of the flight path, gravity will affect the propulsion power as well by decreasing it.
Now that you're done understanding the concept of propulsion, building your model, testing how different levels of air in the balloon and angles of flight path affect the propulsion power of your rocket, you've applied all levels of the design process. You're applying the same processes that all engineers use to develop their ideas into real products. To review, the engineering design process could be summarized into the following steps. Design a model, build the model, test and refine it before arriving at the final product. Thank you for joining Engineering for All for our online workshops this week.